Right, you guys, I'm proud of my son. He um, started his YouTube channel. Um, so if you could, uh, I think it's called CNT uh, Chance and Tucker Outdoors, or it's CNT Outdoors. I'm going to put a link in the bottom somewhere down in there. And if you could go ahead and click on a subscribe to his channel, get him started. I think he has like two subscribers right now. So it'd be really awesome if uh, you guys, he uploaded his first video uh, tonight. And if you guys could go over there and like it and share it and subscribe and all that good shit, that would be awesome. I would really, really appreciate it. I love my son and he is an amazing young man. So good job, Chance. Let's get into this video. All right, y'all. I talked to Bill Duke and uh, he sent me one of his wolf traps. Um, and Bill, I tell you what, I appreciate you. Um, you have done more for the trapping community than any other trap maker that I know of. You've been giving traps to kids for so long, um, as uh, long as I can remember. I remember back in Tennessee, you spent sending dozens and dozens of traps to uh, get um, young young boys and girls started trapping. So I appreciate you. Um, a few years back, Bill came out with the six fit or the eight fifty, um, and called it a wolf trap. And yep, I mean mouthed it. I did, and um, I caught shit for that too, but um, I truly didn't think it was a, a, the trap, the prototype that I got, I didn't, truly didn't think it was a wolf trap, and um, and it worried me that people were going to be using it, thinking it, it was a good wolf trap, and um, I was, what I was worried about is wolves pulling out, getting toe catches, and, and whatnot, there was no way to go ahead and, um, and tighten the pan tension, the prototype that I had um, had a real weak spring and whatnot, but Bill and I talked about it, and um, he asked me what I thought and and what I thought it needed, and uh, one was a, a pan tensioner, and uh, he came up with that, and uh, and he added uh, heavier springs to it. So uh, now um, I believe it's a wolf trap, and. Um, um, Daniel Peters has been using them up in Alaska. So these are the things that he changed. And he sent me one of his traps today with, uh, I got it in the mail, um, yesterday, I think it was, um, I got it in the mail and, um, I looked at it and, um, I like this so the change. The problem was we weren't able to, t um, um, tighten the pan tension with the wolf traps to be legal in Montana. Um, and so now we are able to tighten those pan tensions. Um, and you can snug it down so tight that, um, you will not be able to set the trap off. Um, what I did to the trap, uh, this is the one he sent me. What I did to the trap is cut that pan down, as you see, um, way down. I mean, that trap, that trap pan was way out here, you know, this huge. Um, what I don't like about that is it was so wide that a wolf could step right here and then go ahead and set it off, and then you're going to get toe catches or even complete misses. Um, and we want that foot completely. Now, if you look, this foot would go all the way right here to go ahead and snap it off, you know, so the foot would be further in to set the trap off, of course. Another thing I did was I added um, 3 8 I thought it was going to be 7 16 but they're 3 8 nuts on the end of them right there uh, to keep the springs on. Because when the wolves go ahead and bite on these traps, of course, they could pop these springs and then, then they're done. But I'm going to pick me up a dozen of these next year. And I got a half a dozen right now that I've modified my way. I like this new modification. And Bill told me today that uh, if you got these traps, you're in Montana, you need that 10-pound pan tension, email him and uh, where you got the trap and uh, where you got the trap and... Uh, um, he'll go ahead and send you this for free. You will have to go ahead and dismantle the springs and then, um, and then install it yourself and everything. But, uh, it comes all welded, ready to go. Um, me, all I did is I cut my pants down. That's what I do to mine. Um, and then add that nut. So thanks, Bill Duke. Awesome job, buddy. Thanks.